All right, team, so we just finished in our previous video discussing how to assemble an anterior PA film holding device. Uh, we used the RAN XCP to do so. Now I'm going to show you how to properly expose this so that we get a perfect image, okay? So the hard part's done. We've already positioned this. The next thing we're going to do is have a willing patient who is going to be in the chair. Now, of course, we've already gone over medical history. We've already asked uh, several different questions. We've already done all of our radiation health and safety um, uh, precautions by putting a lead apron over this patient, all right? Uh, now, what we want to do is we want to distinguish where we're going to be taking this x-ray. Now, if you remember, this is blue, uh, which means it's for an anterior PA, which means we will be taking an x-ray either from this cuspid to this cuspid or the lower cuspid to the other cuspid. We will not be taking any x-rays on these posterior teeth. If you remember, that's for the yellow. Uh, we are using the blue, all right? So let's say that a patient came in and we needed to take a PA of tooth number seven right here, all right? It's an anterior tooth. Uh, we need a film holding device. We can't just put a film in there and hope that it stays. We have to have something to hold it, all right? So this is when our film holding device comes into play, all right? So the first thing we would do is ask the patient to open their mouth, all right, like they did. Then we place this uh, into the mouth. Now, a lot of patient, a lot of students and even, even personnel that I know that have been working in the dental field forever currently make this mistake, all right, and frequently make this mistake. You don't want to place the film in the mouth and try to get it right up against the tooth, all right? You want to try and place this as far back into the mouth or to the center of the mouth and the palate as possible, all right? So again, if you can zoom in here, you want to place this film this far back. You don't want to place it as close as you can to the tooth. All right, you're gonna get magnification that way or you might cut off the incisal edges. So you want to position this more towards the center of the mouth, all right? Make sure that we are getting directly on number seven, all right? So you wanna center your film up to number seven. Then you ask the patient to lightly bite on the stick, all right? Just like that, okay? Now again, we're using a mannequin, so our, um, our devices might not stay exactly like a patient would, but as you can see, uh, the patient has bit down on the stick the film is in position, it's not going anywhere. The next step that we would have is we would move this circle as close to the patient's face as possible, all right? And then what we'd do is we'd reach over here for our, um, our equipment. Here's our tube head. We would position this and line it up directly with our circle, all right? And as you can see, it's pretty, si pretty simple. It's point and click, all right? It is directly lined up on the circle. What is not correct is if you come in here and you position it like this, you'll notice that that is not directly straight on, all right? You're gonna get an angulation error. Same thing for turning it like this, all right? Another angulation error. It needs to be directly on point and centered directly up with that XCP, all right? You'll notice this, this arm bar is directly in a parallel position. So if you were looking at this from a numerical standpoint, this would look like an equal sign from here to here. And the circle lines up directly with the circle, which would allow us to take the, uh, an image and hopefully get a good one, all right? So once I position in the, in the mouth, what I would do is tell the patient, stay holding, all right? Then you can follow me. And what I would do is I would walk right out of here, all right? And right here is our exposure button. All right, of course, we'd normally have our PPE on, but I would press and hold the button. All right, once the beep stopped, I would come back in here. I would move this out of the way and ask the patient immediately to open up, where I would then remove the film holding device, okay? So now we have an exposed film that's ready for processing, okay?